Hi, I'm Dennis Martin, President of DeMartech. In today's video, we'll discuss the NetApp Hybrid Array with Flash Pool technology. Flash, or solid state storage options, are proliferating and are adopted in enterprise data centers with increasing regularity. IT professionals must be aware of the wide variety of Flash based storage solutions and be able to determine the best fit for their applications. NetApp integrates Flash technology across their entire line of storage systems. The NetApp Intelligent Caching solutions include Flash Cache Controller Caching using PCIe devices for FAS and V-Series Flash Pool SSD Caching for FAS and V-Series SSD Cache for E-Series systems The NetApp All Flash solutions include EF540 and EF550 Flash Arrays which are part of the EF Series product family. FlashPool accelerates storage performance for volumes by acting as a volume cache. Cluster Data ONTAP provides highly available storage system resources for host applications and clients. For FlashPool, we ran a database workload with different numbers of SAS and SATA interface hard disk drives with FlashPool acceleration. We also tested Cluster Data ONTAP storage performance during a cluster node failover. When testing FlashPool, we achieved steady performance after an initial startup period for each hard drive configuration. The most interesting performance characteristic that we noticed with FlashPool was the significant latency improvement. Almost immediately, the latencies began to drop for all the hard disk drive configurations until the FlashPool cache was fully warmed. We performed another test that combined FlashPool and Cluster Data on tap. For this test, we ran a database workload with a two-node cluster data on tap configuration and then failed over the cluster so that it was running on one node only. We wanted to observe the performance while the cluster was running in degraded mode. We found that once the failover process was complete, the IOPS and bandwidth performance were the same as they were with both nodes of the cluster running normally. Latencies were slightly elevated with only one node of the cluster running. When we re-enabled the first node of the cluster and returned the cluster to its normal state, then performance returned to the levels it had achieved previously. The full report provides all the performance graphs, data tables, and description of the test configurations. In addition to the report that we have highlighted in this video, we also have a separate report that provides an overview of the entire NetApp flash storage portfolio. To get this report, please visit our website at www.demartech.com or search for Demartech NetApp Flash Pool Evaluation in your favorite search engine. While you're on our website, have a look at our other reports, evaluations, and deployment guides. We also invite you to sign up for our free monthly newsletter. I'm Dennis Martin, and thanks for watching.